Yo, what is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we have another player of the month requirement prediction video But before we do get into that today is the final day of the hashtag sword recruitment challenge um, I've been participating in this for the past couple of weeks probably the last two weeks something like that ever since I came back from my trip um, And basically a bunch of people are doing these final videos where they're compiling all their best moments from this stuff But dude at the end of the day man, I'm just doing me I'm putting out the best content every single day that I can and I'm putting as much effort as I can into my editing and all that stuff in every single video so I don't see a point in me kind of just compiling these uh, my best moments when I feel like um, I just try and put out my best work every single day and if you appreciate that and look at my work and you like it then you like it if you don't then you just don't I'm just just being straight up being kind of honest you know kind of don't want to be around the bush but today how I said we have another player of the month rating uh, not a rating prediction but we have player of the month uh, requirement prediction for the SBC now this SBC will be released in FIFA 19 not FIFA 18 and I will tell you guys in another video when this player of the month is going to be released but today we're gonna be taking a look at one of the nominees one of the official nominees announced by the Premier League we have 87 player of the month Lucas as you guys will see on the screen a great card and why is he gonna get player of the month we're gonna get into that we're gonna get into a bunch of the stuff and all that but if you guys could drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn your notifications on I would really appreciate it as you guys know how YouTube's a bit weird uh, with like subs and all that how when you subscribe sometimes it doesn't give you it doesn't show you the videos like it doesn't make sense but you know that's uh, just how YouTube is but if you guys can tune in every single day for MPC 12 p.m. UK time for new videos that'd be cool and yeah Let's go. So we get into it. Why is he going to get player of the month? Why is he one of the main runners? Well, basically, he played three games in the month of August uh, for uh, Spurs. He had three goals and one man of the match in those three games. He got a 2-1 in the 2-1-1 versus Newcastle where he didn't score. A 3-1 win against Fulham where he scored his first Premier League goal. And a 3-0 win versus Manchester United where he got a brace. We all know how good he was in that game. And he got uh, an inform in FIFA 18 as well for that game. Now, the first SBC we're going to be taking a look at is one of the most straightforward ones, uh, one that I'm not too sure how easy it's going to be to predict. Now, um, this one is going to be the Spurs SBC, basically. Now, Spurs, um, of course, I said that they're going to have to require, you're going to have to need like three players from Spurs, around 11 Premier League players, something like that, 85 chemistry, and an 82 rating. Now, some key players you want to get from Spurs, if you guys want to invest in FIFA 19 when it first comes out, um, these are the players that you probably want to get in your in your transfer list and all that because they might go up in price even up from the hype or just because uh when the sbc is actually released they might explode in price so we have davison sanchez a guy that's going to be not too high rated from um in the defense for spurs um of course we have Vertonghen and alder Vireld who if you get them they're going to be way too expensive because of the ratings so devin sanchez eric dyer is a very good one as well because he's in the middle rating and helps you get that rating up uh, we have victor wanyama as well because he's the same thing but he's for the midfield and instead and then Eric Lamella is another good one at the right midfield spot I'm gonna be kind of like a, one of the lower rated ones on this list but still gonna help you get that 82 rating that you're most likely going to need so I just said three players from Spurs knowing EA they could do a bit more to raise the price um, or they can even do 11 uh, which would make the price crazy because you would need Michelle Vorm, uh, Trippier, maybe Ori or something like that Trippier and Ori are actually very good investments as well uh, Ben Davies, Rose You'd need like human saw not left mid because I think that's the only left mid they have. Um, so it would be a bit more expensive if they did 11 players from Spurs, but I don't think they'll do that for this month. Now, this next one is another straightforward one one uh, that you can kind of figure out by yourself, but I'm kind of like making it more like accurate and kind of just actually making good predictions. So this one is the Brazil SBC, where I think it, they're going to require a couple of Brazilian players. Now, we had three players from Spurs. I think it's going to be either four or five Brazilian players. I'm going to go with four, and I think they're going to do max four or five from the same nation. So um, however many players they have from that Brazil nation that, they, that you need, um, it's going to be max of that because then they don't want you to do a full Brazilian team or something like that because then it's going to be way too easy so they're going to do max players four from same nation 81 rating uh, because there's obviously a bunch of Brazilians in the game and the 95 chemistry to make it a bit harder so if you only can do max four from same nation then that means you need to get a bunch of strong links um, in some places or maybe get like a league link um, so you guys can go into different nations and make it a bit more difficult and kind of have like the market by itself inflate the price of the players really easily now we go into the third SBC prediction now this one is going to be August opponent so of course uh, how I said everyone in the Prem played three games during the month of August and it just so happens that Spurs played against Newcastle Fulham and Manchester United in that 
month. So what I think they're going to do is they're going to do max five from same league. So they're going to do max five specifically for Premier League. And I think you're going to have to need one player from Newcastle, one player from Fulham, or um, I think it's going to be one player from Newcastle and Fulham because they have plenty of gold players, especially Fulham now. They've got a bunch of transfers like Andre Sherla, uh, Mitrovic, and all that stuff. Um, I personally think that it's going to be one player from each, and then it's going to be like two or three players from Manchester United or something like that. Uh, but the thing is, they're going to make this a bit easier by putting the rating down to an 80 rated squad because of course um, Newcastle and Fulham players aren't that high rated to be completely honest um, so I think we're gonna make it 80 rated or they could make it like 81 82 and then you would like need like two Manchester United players but you need to get a higher rated Manchester United player which would make it a bit more expensive um, like a Jesse Lingard maybe you require or I don't know a uh, Mateo Darmi and um I don't know, something like that, or Sergio Romero, and it would make it a bit more expensive, but that is August Opponents, the third SBC rating. And then last but not least, we have Lucas's past, which is, of course, he started off at Brazil, he's Brazilian born, I think, and I think he is Brazilian, like, raised, kind of, like, as, as in, like, he developed his his skill and all that there. Um, so, Lucas's past, he started off at Sao Paulo, which was actually, which is actually not in the game, because it's a Brazilian, it's from the Brazilian League, and Brazilian League is not in the game. Um, um, so he transferred to PSG for like a 45 million like in 2013 and I think it's just gonna be basically a PSG squad that you need not a full PSG squad I think they're gonna require you two three players from PSG minimum like six league um players to kind of raise the price up because then that means league um players are gonna be needed and that means the price is gonna go up because the demand is higher so that's gonna be like around 90 chemistry again make it a bit more difficult maybe 95 something like that and then an 80 rated squad just to finish it off but yeah guys this is where we'll end the video this is just a very simple video where i just wanted to talk to you guys about my requirement predictions the things that i think ea are going to try and do maybe some curveballs and stuff like that for this lucas player at the month sbc they might just do like you need the lucas card and you have to submit it and then that's an sbc and you get a 50k back who knows they might do that and the price of the lucas might skyrocket through the roof but um yeah this is where we'll end the video guys i hope you guys did enjoy the like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already let me know what you guys think about my prayer of the month a rating or I mean, it is a rating prediction, but more, more, more so, it's a SBC prediction. Let me know what you guys think about all of these, and go check out my videos from the last couple of days if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Have a nice day.